Brand positioning and advertising campaigns start with deep research, but they need to be plotted succinctly in order to connect the dots and map a way forward. I'm going to show you one of the most important tools of a strategist, how to put together a four C's framework. Ever wondered why some brands keep drowning out their competitors? Why some seem to always be riding the wave of fame? Why their marketing is so fluid with culture? Or why they are so resonant and have customers pouring over them? Besides brilliant creativity and marketing, we'll be looking at the four C's with the brand Liquid Death. The four C's help to navigate brand strategy and positioning by looking at the key insights across the company, the category, their customers, and most importantly, culture. For the purpose of this video, I've done some top line research to see what is happening across these four categories to share an example using liquid debt. First, let's discuss the four C's and then follow up with an example using liquid debt. The process starts with expansive research, collecting information across these categories and distilling it into four key guiding insights. These insights are typically found throughout your extensive research phase in areas such as qualitative research, quantitative research, competitor audits, news articles, internal and external interviews, category reports, sales data, trend analysis, ethnography, and so on. A quick hack to navigate the four quadrants and elements is to focus your research on the below. When doing company, a summary of the financial report, the product strength and the company's origin story. The category, a competitor audit. The customer, a consumer profile and a consumer journey. And then finally, culture, look at cultural trend reports. It's worth noting that there is no order to the four C's. The objective is to find insights and tension points in order to paint a full picture and reveal a window of opportunity. This will be then weaved in to a story format within your presentation. Also, the four C's don't necessarily need to be rooted in statistical data points. It's to connect the dots and provide a strategic route forward. Co-founded by an ex-advertising creative director, Mike Cesario, Liquid Death is a mountain water in a can. Liquid Death takes an unapologetic, almost anarchic stance to opposing the use of plastics. Their advertising is irreverent, borderline antagonistic as they shine a spotlight on the unhealthy drinking industry and begin to turn the tide on the use of plastic packaging within the soft drink sector, including bottled water. So let's dive into the four C's starting with category. The key questions here are, how are competitors engaging with customers? What we want to achieve at this stage is the lay of the land. We want to assess what our competitors' messaging is, their branding, their product and services, what distinctive assets they have, how they are positioning themselves, and to look for any category tropes. This is the opportunity to stand out from the crowd. In Liquid Death's instance, we see that their direct competitor are the big brands and they're moving slowly. Their brand and production is stuck using plastic. They talk about plastic reduction and recycling their plastic, but in actual fact, 9% is recycled. Similarly, we look at the indirect competitors who are unhealthy but being irreverent in their marketing and pulling in crowds because of their brand appeal. The data points, 91% of plastic isn't recycled. 80% of water bottles we buy end up in landfill and the top 10 polluters are unhealthy brands. The insight, healthy options are killing the planet with plastic while unhealthy brands are having all the fun and leaving their mess behind. The key question here is, what is their relationship with the category and product? In this quadrant, we want to explore how customers are engaging with these products. What are they using them for? How are they consuming it? What's the frequency of purchase? What is drawing them in or pushing them away? What are their brand behaviors and mental associations with the category? And this is an opportunity to find the customer problem. In Liquid Death's case, we see that while Americans are becoming healthier, they are more drawn to the liquids that are fulfilling their needs to be on the go. Caffeine and high energy drinks. So much so that people are being treated tenfold for energy drink abuse. America is the largest consumer 
consumer of energy drinks. The data points are that more than half of the adults in the United States don't drink enough water. A study of 2,000 people from the US found that 22% drink the USDA recommended eight to 10 glasses a day. 41% drink other beverages at work instead of water. In a prominent study over four years, the US Substance Abuse and Mental Health Service Administration found a tenfold increase in hospital-related emergency room visits due to energy drink consumption. North America is also the leading energy drinks market, and this is primarily led by the United States. 42.32% of the US respondents aged 30 to 49 consume energy drinks. 33.85% of the respondents aged 8 to 29 claim they consume these drinks regularly. The insight, Americans are drinking less water but are quenching their thirst with not so healthy deadly liquids. Culture, the key question here is how does this product category fit into society? The enigma of the set, but this is one that gives the potential for both longevity and resonance. Looking at wider cultural movements, the slow moving but impactful societal tensions ideally adding value to people's lives to get real cut through and resonance. This is an opportunity to connect with the customer on a deeper level and leave a positive mark on people's lives. In Liquid Death's case, we see the movement towards sustainable consciousness, but when you look at the brands promoting this, it's all visual elements of wellness, yoga, sunshine, and happiness. But this is not the lifestyle for everyone. Many people want to live their lives on their own terms without being preached at. As Mark Cesario put it, the drink was initially designed to appeal to straight edge punks who are totally sober, but still all in on the punk lifestyle. The data points, not a data point in this instance, but a visual style that looks more like craft beer in a tall boy can. Fiji water may target the yoga instructor, box water, the unassuming supermodel, and Topo Chico, the trendy city dweller. We could all go on forever, but Liquid Death's marketing message is simple. Punks need water too. The insight, a healthy and sustainably conscious lifestyle doesn't have to equate to purity. The key questions here is, what is the company brand advantage over their competitors? With the company, this is where we review the brand's performance where they fit into the category, both financially and what they stand for. Somewhat similar to the category, but here we are looking at our advantage, our USP, our strength, the thing that will give us cut through, but that is ownable by us as a brand while solving the customer problem. In Liquid Death's case, they serve both sides of the customer problem. It is an irreverent drink for people regardless of their lifestyle, while simultaneously being sustainably conscious as the packaging of their product is in a format that is fully recyclable. Liquid Death is moving far quicker than their competitors who continue to push plastic packaging. The data points. Consumers recycle cans 25% more than plastic. Aluminium has a 92.6 closed loop rate versus plastic, which is 26.8%. Cans are four times more valuable to recycle. The insight, infinitely recyclable cans means death to plastics. So now the strategy, the strategy statement, pulling the four C's into an actionable strategy statement. Finally, the brand strategy statement. It forms the very core of the four C's. It pulls all the information from the four C's into an actionable strategic statement to act as a North Star for the brand. This is their advantage and a way to navigate across the four C's while staying true to what their brand is. This is an opportunity to carve a space in consumers' minds and lives. In Liquid Death's case, they wanted to provide a better choice for customers who don't want to compromise on lifestyle. Their branding and positioning affords them more opportunities and usage within various social occasions and environments, e.g. bars, music venues, and house parties. So the strategic statement, become death to plastic and unhealthy liquids. In short, liquid death have a simple mission, to get Americans to drink more water and death to plastics. Navigating the four C's would help lead to their positioning of murder your thirst. There's a lot that goes into a four C's, but it helps provide a North Star for brands and constantly reminds them of their place in society and culture and where they can add value and stay relevant.
In the strategy finishing school, the research module helps to simplify this complex process using the kickoff questions, which are key questions for each of the four C's, a strategy scrapbook to help you navigate the process and stay on track, the art of questioning clients, how, when, and what to ask clients during this process, the data source cheat sheet, a quick hack list of go-to sites to find your information, and then validating sources and insights, the steps to knowing which are the best and most credible to support your findings and arguments. Thank you to Matthew Osborne, a member of the Strategy Finishing School for helping to pull together this great case study. Let me know if you've got any questions or have any recommendations for other brands that you would like to see next.